it is erratic i can't see how it can do any of that properly it is driving me absolutely mad it doesn't have a screen am i just wasting my money it's not all bad it's not all bad hi my name is bite jones so i've been wearing my whoop for about six weeks now and i've been trying to spend the last few years of my life to really improve my fitness i felt like based on everything that i was i was hearing about the whoop that this device sounds like the right thing that can help me to get to that next level i will be able to see how much i'm pushing myself how well I'm sleeping, how well I'm recovering. All of this information I thought would be essential and be absolutely useful for me to truly optimize my health and my fitness. Let me tell you first what I love about Whoop. So I love the minimalist design that it has. I think the design of it is quite nice. It's very simple, it's not flashy, it's very subtle. I love the fact that you can also wear it on other parts of your body. I've never tried this, but I hear you can stick it into your, your pants or your, your boxers and it works well there as well. So I do love the fact that you, you, you can take it off and you can wear it on other body parts. And even if you've got it on your wrist, it's not very loud. It's very subtle and, and very, very, a very nice, simple, minimalist design, I think. I love the fact that you never have to take it off. Like, you could charge it while you're wearing it as well. You can just get the charger and it just slides over the top of the device and it charges in about an hour or so. So you never actually have to take it off to charge it. And I think, I think that's great. And that means you're always getting the most reliable data out of it. Well, at least you're meant to be because you're always wearing it and it's tracking you all the time. It's very good at knowing when you're asleep. So usually I might decide to have a nap during the day. Hope nobody from work is watching this. Um, and if I do choose to have a nap, the Whoop will detect that I had a little nap and you know it will say, that my recovery has improved or my sleep debt has decreased somewhat. So I love the fact that you can use naps to reduce the amount of sleep that the device um, thinks you need. The app has a very good bedtime planning feature. So it tells you what time it thinks you should go to bed and what time you should wake up. And there's also a built-in alarm as well that vibrates and wake, wakes you up when it thinks you should wake up. Absolutely love that feature. So that means you don't need to bring your phone into the bedroom with you. You don't need to be waking up to this loud alarm that's going off in the house, waking everybody else up. It's very subtle um, vibration that wakes you up. And I think that's a really, really cool feature. So we spoke about sleep detection, the activity detection, is also really good. So if, if I'm in the gym, I don't need to do anything in the app. The device will know when I'm doing an activity. Once I complete the activity, I'll get a not notification on the app, which would tell me activity detected. Sometimes it can even tell what the activity was. So if I was in a spinning class, it comes up and it says spinning detected or running detected or you know roaring detected whatever the activity is it can tell what you've been doing absolutely love that because i find that with my garmin if i forget to track an activity then that activity is not recorded on my garmin whereas the whoop i don't need to do anything i just go to the gym just carry on as normal and it records the activity and here are the things that i do not like I hate that it's a subscription. Look, I've already got about 566 different subscription. I really didn't want another one. With other devices like your Apple Watch, your Garmin, you pay for it upfront and you don't need to think about it again. With Whoop, you have to buy into the subscription membership. And that's the only way you can get continued access to the Whoop platform. And I just worry that it'll continue to be a never ending story and you just continue to plow more money and more money into it. It's like a phone contract that doesn't end. But is this even worth the money? Now I mentioned how easy this device is to charge earlier, but I absolutely hate that I need to charge it every two days. It doesn't have a screen, why do I need to charge it every two days 
if it doesn't have a screen? Like, what is actually draining this battery? By comparison, my Garmin that has a screen and I use that to track every activity that I do, I only charge this maybe once a week, every five or six days, if that. So the Whoop is easy to charge, but the battery drains really fast. And I think that this is something that Whoop can improve on because the fact that I need to do that every two days is a little bit annoying, I'm not gonna lie. The sleep performance focuses more on length of sleep as opposed to quality of sleep. So when I go to bed, it tells me what time I should go to bed, what time I should wake up. Then it uses that to analyze my sleep performance. If I stay in bed for the entire duration of the time that it's suggested, then I might score a 100% sleep performance based on the amount of time I've spent in bed. It doesn't look very much at the quality of sleep that I received. I would much prefer if that sleep performance takes into account quality as well. Maybe I'm wrong on this, but that's what I've seen in the six weeks that I've been using it. If somebody from Whoop wants to get in touch and clarify that, or if any of you in the comments might have a different opinion on this, I would love to hear it. The heart rate monitor is driving me absolutely mad. So I bought this thing to analyze my stress, my performance and my recovery. But if the heart rate monitor is not reliable, I can't see how it can do any of that properly. So I think the unreliable heart rate monitor is basically letting the entire device down. And that's why I'm sort of feeling like I'm wasting my money here because I do a lot of high intense and long aerobic exercises. And I've been doing that for years. So I know what my heart rate should be based on what I'm doing. I also wear my Garmin, which is also tracking my heart rate. Sometimes I wear a strap around my chest that is also monitoring my heart rate as well. And usually all those devices, my Garmin, my heart rate monitor, they're all in sync. The whoop is usually way off. It is erratic, unreliable, and it has made me not trust anything that it tells me. Recently, I spent about three hours in the gym. I did a 20 mile bike ride. I was on the ski erg, on the rowing machine for about an hour. I spent about another hour and a half lifting weights. And it basically was telling me that I was having a very chilled and relaxing day and my recovery was improving as a result of it. When actually, I was feeling absolutely hammered you know, I, I was going harder than last time, you know, cycling hard, rowing hard. And it was telling me that my heart rate was like 120 beats per minute, which whereas on the Garmin on the, the, and the heart strap that I was wearing, it was a lot higher than that, you know. And then what that meant, the following day, it was telling me that my recovery was in the high 90s when I was actually feeling quite rubbish. So the recovery data is affected, in my opinion, by the unreliable heart rate monitor. There is no way it can give me an accurate recovery score if I don't think the heart rate tracking is accurate because your heart rate is what it uses to calculate your stress levels, that then translates into your, your HRV measurements and everything. So in my opinion, everything is off. If the heart rate monitor is not accurate, then I can't see how anything can be accurate. And then the next minute, when I'm having an easy workout session, nothing too strenuous, I check my heart rate and it's looking like I need to call the ambulance. Now, I am happy for somebody again from Whoop to get in touch with me. Maybe my device is the problem. So Maybe I need to get a new device because I want something that is reliable that will tell me how hard I'm working and track my performance and my recovery as accurate as possible. And I just do not trust that this device is doing that properly at the moment. I know some of you might be thinking, oh, it's because it's not on tight enough. But let me tell you, if I put this on any tighter, I'd be cutting off my circulation, fam. I'm telling you. Look, I'm not saying that you shouldn't try Whoop yourself. In fact, I've got a link in the description and you can get a full 30 days for free. And I'll also get 30 days for free as well. Help me save some money. Give it a go and let me know what you think. Maybe 
I'm the problem. Maybe my device is the problem. Maybe I'm just stupid. But let me know what you think. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.